Jeff Moore singing from his latest work entitled Speak to Me. And we're going to be inviting Jeff to come on over. Just come on in, walk on the set. But I want to say something here. What a beautiful, intimate heart song of love to God the Father. And as we were just really, I, I was just lost in worship along with Jeff as he's singing, the thought came to me, maybe some of you have such a broken heart and you're saying, God, listen to my heart. I've nothing in it except brokenness. Can I just say to you, come as you are. He loves your heart. And no matter what condition you're in, he longs to listen to your heart. Mm -hmm. And he longs for you to um, experience his heart of love for you. And so I just want to share that right off the top of the program. He loves you so much. And this program was designed for you. It's no accident that you're watching right now. So just call the number at the bottom of your screen if you'd like for somebody to talk with you or pray with you. But above all, allow him to hear your heart, no matter what condition it's in and then experience his heart, and you will have healing and hope. Jeff, thank you so much. You're what welcome. a beautiful way to open the thank program. You. It's great to be back. Yeah, oh good. my goodness. You, you, you say that, uh, can I just jump in or just jump quickly, in, speak to me is really your life right now. Yeah, it, it is, and I'm maybe like a lot of folks, sometimes I have a hard time slowing down in this world and listening, and I'm a believer that We've got to do. Uh, we've got to be still, some to, for us to hear God above all the noise of our culture. So, yeah, that's really my prayer: is that I'll slow down, hear from Him, and then in my small ways, be able to communicate the things that I feel like He wants us to hear. So, I, I mentioned off the top of the program, Kathy and I used to host a music video program. Right, and yeah, we feature your music videos yeah. before. We did an interview with you in your trailer once at some music at some festival. festival somewhere. I, yeah, I can't remember yeah. which one, but that Howdy was a while. I think yeah. you had some great, probably. 80s, 90s, probably 90s hair, as I recall. So, <laughs> and I probably had a, <laughs> a mullet of some kind. So, I'm no, so no worries. Yeah. Yeah. So it used to be Jeff Moore in the distance yeah. for many years. You yeah. traveled with a big band. Right. Uh, now it's a little more acoustic. Yeah. And talk to us about. The, the well, you know, I reached a point uh, where I mean, almost 15 years I traveled with those guys, and we reached a point where I really felt like God was kind of changing the season in my heart and you know you mentioned our adoptions in the top of the show yeah. you know that's how God is he's out in front of us you know so I didn't even know at that point in my life that that I would become a father like that again you know because you and my, your wife have two, two sons two boys yeah okay. one is married 21 and the other one is already in college and so 21 and 19 so we were kind of out of the woods as they say you know and but that was such a busy time in my life, touring with that band. So God kind of helped me finish that chapter of my life and slow things down a bit. And then he brought the girls into our world. And so I'm home so much more than I was back in those days. Yeah. So uh, a lot of our viewers would know you from visiting their church. You've been very right. busy across Canada wow, here. Wow, what an amazing thing. With Compassion Canada. Yeah, I was doing a tour in the United States a few years ago that Compassion in the U.S. was helping sponsor and some Compassion Canada staff came over, saw the show, said, man, I think some of our Canadian folk would like you to come to some churches. Would you be willing to do that? I said, sure. And I didn't know the can of worms I was opening because, you know, it's grown into from Newfoundland. I mean, that's a good thing, though, right? That's right, that's absolutely. Canadians are not that's can of worms. That's a good, worms. that's right. I mean, from Newfoundland <laughs> to Victoria and through Moose Jaw. I even have my Moose Jaw t-shirt, so. Wow. Uh, and it's just been an amazing thing to see you know, playing in local churches, seeing the response to this uniquely Canadian ministry that, of compassion that's helping children all over the world. And so it's been an awesome thing. So if people are watching and they would like me to come to their local church, I love, particularly if it's during the summer months. I'm really... <laughs> yes, so, this, that's uh, understandable, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, so can you just share a little bit about the journey that began in 2001 yes, with your daughters? Yes, I can. Um, some of you...